Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm a tutor in the Econ Tutoring Center. Today I'm going to go over a couple questions about uh, aggregate demand, uh, short run aggregate supply, long run aggregate supply, uh, and some monetary policy questions. Okay, so this question says suppose R rises but Y and P are unchanged. Uh, what happens to money demand? So R here is the interest rate, uh, but the interest rate can be thought of as the opportunity cost of holding money, right? So if the uh, if the interest rate is 10% and I have $100, right, and then what that 10% represents is that if I were to lend out that money, uh, then I would receive, uh, you know, a rate back of 10% on that if I were to lend it out as opposed to holding it. So whenever I decide to hold money, what I'm giving up is whatever the interest rate is, what I could be getting if I lent it out, essentially, or in this case, you know, used it to buy bonds. Um, Okay, so suppose that that opportunity cost goes up, so the interest rate rises, right? That means that all of a sudden if I exchange my dollars for bonds, I'm going to get more for them than I did previously, right? So that, what that should do is that should decrease uh, the demand for money, right? Because you're saying that um, holding money has now become more costly because this R has gone up, so uh, your demand for it should go down, right? So the way you would depict that is simply that, um, you know, we have our money supply here and money demand, um, right? And so the idea is if R goes up, uh, then our demand for money should go down. Okay, suppose the price level rises P, uh, but Y and R are unchanged. What happens to money demand? Okay, so... If the price level rises, right, it, all it's saying is that um, the cost, the, the monetary value, or dollar amount, rather, that you see when you go to buy something is higher, right? So what that's going to do is make you want to hold more dollars, right, because everything that you purchase now has a higher nominal value. So if uh, price level rises, right, you should have that um, money demand goes up, right, from money demand one to money demand two, right, so it's, ju it's just saying that um, when all of a sudden the, the amount of dollars that you have to pay to, um, you know, to buy a particular fixed good goes up, then your demand to hold dollars is also going to go up. Um, if you have any questions, come visit us in the Account Tutoring Center, uh, and also remember that uh, the language I may be using might be different from your professors, so always check to make sure that um, what you see in your class is the same as uh, the language I'm using.